बिस्मिल्लाम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बायोलॉजिकल मैथड इन दिस टॉपिक वी इनशाला एक्सप्लेन ऑल स्टेप्स रिलेटेड टू सॉल्व आ बायोलॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम बायोलॉजिकल मैथड मैथड यूज टू सॉल्व अ बायोलॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम वट इज बायोलॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड विद लाइफ रिलेटेड विद ऑर्गेनिजम्स रिलेटेड विद लिविंग थिंग्स बायोलॉजी लाइक अदर साइंसिस इज अ सिस्टमैटिक नॉलेज एंड कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेट ऑफ मैथडोलॉजी दिस मैथडोलॉजी कंसिस्ट ऑफ फॉलोइंग स्टेप्स वन ऑफ देम इज ऑब्जर्वेशन सेकेंड इज दिस थर्ड इज डिडक्शन फोर्थ इज एक्सपेरिमेंट फिफ्थ थ्योरी एंड एट लास्ट साइंटिफिक ला टू साल बायोलॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट स्टेप इज द ऑब्जर्वेशन वट आर ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑब्जर्वेशन टू ऑब्जर्व प्रॉब्लम ऑब्जर्वेशन शुड बी मेड थ्रू फाइव सेंसेस दीज फाइव सेंसेस आर vision hearing touch smell and taste it all depend upon the physical characteristic of that object how these object should be observed either through vision through hearing or touch smell or taste observation should be made through quality that observations are called qualitative observation qualitative observation are the observation that used to observe the quality of an object specially their characteristics these are non measurable and not be represented in the form of digits other observations are quantitative observations in this we observe the quantity of an object these are represented in the form of digits and also these observations are measurable so these observation are more accurate and more precise than qualitative observations 
on the basis of these ob observations hypothesis should be made what is hypothesis hypothesis is tentative explanation of our observations tentative mean untested explanation of our observations hypothesis always made according to background knowledge of events on the basis of background knowledge of events there are two major ways to formulate a hypothesis one of them called deductive reasonings and second are inductive reasonings according to background knowledge these deductive reasonings always move from general to specific what are journals journal mean journal laws specific mean from general laws to conclude specific conclusion these reasonings always move from specific uh, general to specific from the general laws we can calculate we can conclude specific rules on the other hand inductive reasonings move from specific to general from specific rules to conclude general principles such reasoning are called inductive reasoning deductive reasonings always move from general to specific while inductive reasonings move from specific to general in this if and then logic should be used more frequently in deductive reasonings that move from general to specific for example if we know all the birds having wings all birds actually related with general principles a sparrow is a bird sparrow is specific then we concluded it also having wings when we know all the birds having wings sparrow is a bird then we automatically conclude it will also contain wings in this we move from all bird to specific sparrow so these reasonings that move from general to specific are 
known as deductive reasonings in this if and then logic should be used more frequently if we know all the birds having wings then we conclude it also contain wings second if we know all the green plants required sunlight for its photosynthesis a plant that plays in dark we will conclude it will not synthesize glucose that is the end product of photosynthesis so these reasonings move from general principle to specific conclusions such type of reasonings are known as deductive reasonings on the other hand inductive reasonings move from specific rules to general conclusions if we know sparrow is a bird containing wings then we conclude eagle parrot hawk sparrow are all birds then we conclude all birds contain wings in these reasonings we move from specific mean specific bird to general mean other birds major birds such type of reasonings are known as inductive reasonings sometime some other way also used to formulate a hypothesis that are imagination philosophical or religious ideas aesthetic preference discovery of one thing looking like others sometime these method also become the base to solve a biological problem and biologist sometime use other than inductive and deductive reasonings to these ways to formulate hypothesis and uh, and use the uh, use these method to solve a problem next is the deduction what is deduction deduction mean logical consequences of our hypothesis for example if we know all the birds containing wings a sparrow is a bird we formulate deductions it will also contain wings deduction is necessary to perform experiment and design experiment according to hypothesis after deduction testing of hypothesis occur this testing of hypothesis is always through experimental proof experiment was done to test the hypothesis if 
ड्यूरिंग एक्सपेरिमेंटल वर्क हाइपोथिस बिकम प्रूव इट विल बी एक्सेप्टेड एंड फॉर फर्दर टेस्टिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंटल वर्क शुड बी कंटिन्यू एंड इफ द हाइपोथिस बिकम रॉन्ग then it become rejected and new hypothesis should be formulate for further testing this process of testing remain continue and hypothesis should be tested again and again and if these hypothesis give same results then the confidence of researcher should be increase a stage come when this hypothesis after repeated experiment give same results then they become theory there are two types of theories one of them are predictive theory and second is the productive theory what are predictive theory the theory that have well explanatory power while the productive theory the theory that have ability to suggest new hypothesis actually formulation of new hypothesis from that theory should be continue for other biologist try to disprove that theory and if they not disprove that theory through their all efforts then a stage come then that theory become a scientific law actually scientific law is irrefutable theory that remain uniform and constant in the fact of nature that cannot be disproved by other scientist actually life having its changeable conditions things in life not remain uniform so there are few laws in biology important example of laws in biology are hardy weinberg laws that were explain the populations of an areas and second are the mendel's law on genetics with the help of these laws especially law of segregation and law of independent assortment how character can transmitted from parents to offspring actually there are few laws in biological sciences so these different methods used to solve a biological problem initially we use observation then formulate hypothesis and hypothesis should be made according to background knowledge of events then with the help of this hypothesis deduction should be formulated and deductions are used to testing that hypothesis and if that hypothesis become proved then a theory formulate there are two types of theories predictive theories and productive theories the testing of productive theories remain continue and 
a stage come when that theory not become disproved by the other biologists then it become a scientific loss thank you very much